I was in a I was in a mood. This is my mood for spring. Okay. Hey guys, good morning. Welcome to the vlog. I'm here with Maxi. I am gonna go take him to the groomers right now because he desperately needs a bath and a haircut. You're looking real scruffy, boo boo. And then I'm gonna come back and pick up Ayla. She stayed over my house last night. And we're gonna go have lunch while Max is getting groomed. I'm starving. I started doing intermittent fasting, which basically for me, I stop eating at 8 p.m. and then I don't eat again the next day until 1 p.m. Um, there's a lot of good benefits to intermittent fasting. One of them is weight loss. There's a ton of stuff. I'll try to find the best article possible or like the one that breaks it down the most easiest to understand and I'll link it down below for you guys. But I did intermittent fasting months ago when I first lost weight and it really worked for me and I really like it. So I'm doing it again. I just started this week and so far, so good. Oh my God, he's being so good. Usually he's crying. And he's just laying there like a little cutie pie. Yay! We had the most amazing breakfast like we ordered way too much food oh, yeah. i'm stuffed but i specifically like going to that diner because they offer vegan breakfast like and they offer a lot of options like i had vegan french toast and then i had this other vegan thing it's called the vegan roman if you guys ever go there i love love that sorry hold on oh my god and ayla even had to take some of her food home because we just ordered way too much hi babes i am getting ready to go to the salon to get my tapins redone like get new tapins but first i am gonna grab a quick lunch and then i also brought like a snack for it later because it takes so long to get the tapins in because i get a lot of hair put in um i like a lot of volume and thickness and also i don't know if we're gonna have to like dye my hair or the extensions i'm pretty sure we're gonna have to do one or the other because the extensions are lighter than my hair so that's gonna take even longer. So I just wanna make sure I eat cause I actually haven't ate anything all day. Like I worked out this morning and then I just came home, showered, did my makeup. Um, and now I'm gonna go get my hair done. I'm starving. So I'm going to, what am I doing? I'm all over the place. I'm Yeah, I'm gonna go eat something so that I can be good. Um, I'm excited though. Once they do my hair, I will come back on the vlog and answer some questions for you guys because I get questions on tapins all the time and I do have a really in-depth video on them and I have several vlogs where I show you guys how they do it and everything but uh, I do want to just like do a refresher and answer some more some more questions for you guys so I'm gonna do that later once my hair is applied and we're looking real cute Stay one more night Don't you know that my love is true Let's make things right you're going through stay one more night and i know that it's not too late let's make things right you just have to believe in faith
feel like my camera's a little lopsided because I'm parked in a weird kind of hill, so bear with me. But I just finished getting my new tapins in. I'm obsessed with this, and I'm obsessed with the color. It's like just nice and dark, but still brown, not black. That's exactly what I wanted. And when I went in, I told you guys that we were either going to have to dye my hair or the extensions. We, well, not we. <laughs> Judy did deepen up the extensions a little bit so they can match me better. And then she said the next time I go in for a blowout, we'll do a glaze all over. So it's like one cohesive color. But honestly, it's looking really good to me. Let me look in the, let me look in the mirror. It looks so good. I kind of like the lightness that the extensions add. It gives it like a little nice dimension now, i kept them super long this time judy just like trimmed and like framed my the hair and everything so that it blends cohesively and she just trimmed off a little bit on the ends but it looks so good when you guys were looking at the clip of the extensions being put in they look kind of poofy that's because she washed them and put the glaze or something on it like to deepen up the color they were kind of poofy because of that because she just air dried them but then once she puts them in she blows the hair out for you and straightens it and it's good honey i had no doubt that it was gonna be good because judy does such a good job for any of you guys who are new i always go to the same place to get my tape installed i'm gonna list the salon down below but they're called jane co hair salon i always go to judy she always does my tape -ins, um and she's amazing she's like the tape and queen <laughs> the number one question that i always get i'm telling you i get this question like every single week is am i still using the amazon tape and extensions am i still using the hair that i get from amazon and the answer is yes i have not tried any other tape and hair extensions other than the ones that i order from amazon so like i always say like i can't compare this hair quality to more expensive ones because i just never tried the more expensive ones so i have no experience with them I don't know maybe I'll give them a try I always say this like I'm always like okay I'm gonna give them a try soon so maybe I will give them a try soon I just I like the quality of these so I'm like I just keep buying these because they're way more inexpensive and yeah like why would I spend more when I really enjoy these but who knows maybe the more expensive ones are better like why are they charging so much if they're not but I mean I don't know but yeah, um, I really like the quality of the Amazon tapins. I will link them below if you guys want to check them out. And I'll also write down below the exact color that I got this time because normally I get the black is black, but this time I got brown. I didn't get dark brown, I got like a different brown. So I'll link it down below because I forget what the color was. Um, they're 22 inches and I did keep the length this time. Sometimes I cut it, but this time I kept the length because I was in a, I was in a mood. This is my mood for spring, okay? I love the quality of the hair. I don't really have issues with it. Normally, I can use the hair twice, meaning um, I have them on right now. Okay, this is my method. First of all, let me explain my tape and method for you guys. Um, so what I do is like, this is a brand new set of hair. So I installed them today and I can make the hair last on me anywhere from one to two months or somewhere in between. Never less than a month. Like I always last over a month, but the longest I've ever lasted with a set is two months. So after two months, you do have to get them removed and move the hair up because as your hair grows out, the tapes, like they start coming down and down. So um, that's why I can make it last about two months, depending on how quickly my own hair is growing. So, in about a month, a month and a half, in about a month and a half to two months, I'll have these removed and I'll buy a new set of hair and I buy four boxes of the hair and I'll bring those in and I'll get those installed. Then the next time I want to get them done, I won't buy a new set. I'll use this set. So this is the original set. So I'll use these. Um, and what Judy does for me is like she deep conditions it. And then once we install it, we give the hair a trim so it looks fresh again. And it looks great. And I can do that um, with the... With the Amazon hair, I can use it twice. That's what I mean by using it twice. Like, I'll use it now, and then I'll use it again in the future when I want to get them redone. I've never been able to use a set of hair three times because I feel like after the second time, they get, like, really worn out and, like, not as pretty, and they're kind of... They're just not as pretty. Like, they're kind of, like... Like that. If this is a description, that's how the hair is. Like kind of grizzly, like frizzy, not as pretty, kind of grungy. I don't know how to explain it. But um, yeah, I can use a set of hair twice, two different times. 
I get a lot of hair put in so like she puts hair in like up to here so I personally when she first uh, when she first applies the hair I can't pull my hair up like in a high pony or a bun because the tapins are gonna show and it's gonna be kind of uncomfortable but after a week they kind of loosen up they start growing a little bit down and I am able to pick up my hair but your, the tapins do show so I when I work out I just put my hair in a low pony like I just work out like this It's no big deal. Some people want to put their hair up Personally, I Naturally don't really put my hair up because it gives me a headache if I have my hair up for too long and I just like my hair down all the time so it, That's not an issue for me So that's something that you might want to consider if you like to put your hair up It is difficult to put your hair up with tapin. I style my hair as I normally would I wash it Sometimes I let it air dry, um, I blow it out, I straighten it. When I add product, I do still add product to my hair, but I add it to the ends of the hair just to like keep it nice and smooth. You don't, you want to avoid adding product to like where the actual tapes are so that it doesn't get loose and like come apart easily. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. And um, I feel like I answered most of the like frequently asked questions. That you guys have been sending me that's pretty much it yeah i love the amazon hair i love judy oh judy um at jane co hair they charge 250 dollars to get tapins applied um and that includes getting a blowout like they wash your hair previously um install and they will trim and frame the hair for you as well um and what else i think that's pretty much it if you guys have any other questions i'm gonna link my super in-depth taping video down below because there i really go in on like everything that i like about tape and hair extensions and i feel like i answer like everything 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 that you can think of but yeah for the most part these are like the new questions that you guys have been kind of asking me so i just wanted to address it and give you guys a little refresher um and an update on if i'm still using the tapins and yes i am all right i'm really thirsty whenever i talk for too long i get real thirsty um i am actually going to start by Harmons. oh at Harmons, i'm going to pick up the hairbrush that i use specifically if you use hair extensions this is a this is an amazing hairbrush with tape and hair extensions i actually have a mini one in my purse you know my new little baby i keep a little hairbrush um oh and by the way the hair doesn't really get tangled up like it gets a little it gets slightly tangled up that's why i like to keep a hairbrush with me just in case but i feel like naturally my own hair kind of gets a little frazzled um and this is the brush that i use it's called the wet brush super inexpensive this is the mini one that i like to keep in my bag like i said and it's really cool because it allows you to brush your hair even if you have um hair extensions and it doesn't bother them or it doesn't hurt you um and it's also a good brush to uh, brush your hair if it's wet that's why it's called the wet brush because it won't like break your hair and tear at it so i have um i have the big version of this at home because i actually like to blow dry my hair with the wet brush but my wet brush is i've had it for like 10 months and it's and i use it every single day so it's kind of busted so we're gonna go to Harmons and i'm gonna pick up a new one yeah let's go to Harmons together you guys want to go to Harmons with me let's go All right, I normally just get the original wet brush, but then these two other ones caught my attention. So I'm trying them out for the first time now. I got this one, which is the Speed Dry, and with the tape-ins, it takes me longer to blow dry my hair. They take a lot longer to blow dry, for me anyways, so... Oh, I'm like, somebody's calling me. Um, so yeah, it just looks like this. It's like wider, and it's like less of these bristles. So I'll let you guys know when I use it if it really does speed up the process for blow drying my hair. And then I think I'll do an updated like blowout routine for you guys. And then the second one that I picked up is this one. And this one caught my attention because, and by the way, they're both from the Wet Brush Company. This one says it's a shine enhancer. Did you just hear what I said? I said a shine enhancer. Okay, I can't talk. <laughs> this is a shine, is that my friend? Nope, that's not my friend. <laughs> This one is a shine enhancer, so it's a detangling brush that also brings out your hair's natural shine. 
they had me at all of that <laughs> so yeah that one just looks like this it has like those little thin bristles like the other brush and then some of the thicker ones i don't know how to explain it i'm sure the back explains it all but yeah i'm gonna try these both out this one will probably be the one that i brush my hair out every day and this one i'll use when i blow my hair out um and then i just got shaving cream and another brow stylist definer from l'oreal this is what i use to fill in my brows well it's what i've been using and i get the shade brunette and i love it and i just ran out so i feel like it runs out pretty quickly or maybe i'm just doing my brows a lot because i went through my last one very quickly i'm gonna show you guys my favorite lip combo of the moment i start off with the charlotte tilbury lip liner in iconic nude and sometimes i like to wear this lip liner alone even if I don't have a lot of makeup on, I feel like I like how my lips look when I just have this nude lip liner on. Because it's not too dark and it's not too light and it ends up looking like it's your lips in a way. Then after that, I put on my Charlotte Tilbury lipstick and this one is the shade Nude Kate. It's a very pretty nude lipstick. And what I like about her lipsticks is that they're kind of moisturizing and a tiny bit glossy. I've been really into more moisturizing lipsticks or gloss. I used to only be about liquid lipsticks and super matte lipsticks, but I don't know. I'm kind of back into the moisture. It feels a lot more comfortable. And then on top of that, sometimes I leave it just like this. Just the lipstick and the lip liner. And then recently, I also started putting this lip gloss on top. And this is from MAC. It's a lip gloss. And it's in the shade Lust. It's really pretty. I wore it. I had it on yesterday, I want to say. Um, yeah, it was yesterday. And I was snapping. And so many people were like, oh my god, what gloss is that? So I wanted to make sure I shared it with you guys so you knew. And I'm going to share it again today. I love this color because it's the perfect pinky nude. It's not too like it doesn't have any like honey yellow tint to it. It doesn't it's not too pink. It's kind of the perfect pink. So that's what it looks like. I feel like my lip gloss is popping now. So glossy. We are back home now. I got two packages in the mail today and I figured I would unbox it for you guys here. I tried filming and a huge PR unboxing. I did film it and I lost all the footage. So at least I have two new ones right now. I'm going to open that for you guys now. It looks pretty. Oh, it's from It Cosmetics. Oh, this is very cute. It Cosmetics sent this over. It says Au Revoir. Uh, or, or, ugh, I obviously cannot speak French. Au Revoir. Au Revoir. <laughs> bye bye. Adios. Ciao. And some other languages that I cannot pronounce. This is really cute. We have an A Cosmetics brush. I love their brushes. They're really, really amazing. Every time they send me a brush, I'm like, yes, thank you very much. <laughs> this one is the Heavenly Wand Ball Powder Brush, the number eight. Their brushes are extremely, <gasps> extremely, extremely soft. Oh my God, sorry. I just got really excited because I literally commented on their Instagram. I saw a photo that they had makeup wipes and I was like, oh my God, I need to try these. And now I get to try them. Oh my god. So it says that they're make. First of all, what I like about A Cosmetics is that all of their products and even their makeup, everything has benefits for your skin. That's why I get really excited to try new A Cosmetics products. And their makeup wipes. The wipes. Oh my god, I cannot talk. I need to take a speech class. Red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather. Okay. I think I got it under control. It says that these makeup wipes are three-in-one hydrating, anti-aging, makeup removing micellar wipes. They sound freaking amazing. So I cannot wait to try these. I'm actually going to stick them right here. Because once I run out of my other makeup wipes, that's what I'm going to start using. We have a few more products in here. We have the Bye Bye Under Eye Eye Cream. I really, really want to use this, but I think I'm going to end up giving it to my mom because she really likes It Cosmetics skincare. She always says that it's like the skincare that works best for her. So I will probably end up giving this to my mom. 
And this under eye cream says it smooths, brightens, and depuffs your eyes. Then we have Bye Bye Redness. I need this. Okay, I don't know what it is, but I need it. A skin relief treatment moisturizer. Oh, it's a moisturizer that's going to help with your redness. This moisturizer has collo colloidal oatmeal. I've never heard of that. Aloe and cucumber, chamomile extract, avocado and chrysin, collagen and peptides, and turmeric. And this is going to be great for sensitive skin and if you have redness, which I always have redness and I cover it up with concealer. We have a Bye Bye Pores Pressed Poreless Finish Airbrush Powder. Wait, is this what I... Hold on, because I'm going to get really excited if this is the powder that I'm thinking of. Max, what are you doing, baby? Do you guys see him? Like, what is he trying to... I think he wants the candle because the candle smells sweet. Oh my God, yes, yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I swear, everything that I needed is being sent to me. Like, I'm manifesting these products because I literally own this and i couldn't find it i have no idea where it is and i'm like damn where is my bye bye pores powder and now i have a new one this is really good this is one of the products that i actually keep in my purse like i take it everywhere with me and it's literally just this translucent powder and it's so good whenever my makeup starts to crease up or i need just to touch it up i take a fluffy brush and i just apply this all over my face it doesn't mess up your makeup and it just kind of brings everything back together and fixes your makeup for you so this is one of my favorite favorite products that they actually make and i am excited it does bring a little sponge but i like sometimes i use this if i can't fit a brush into my bag um and with this sponge you just like press it onto your skin like you don't want to like rub because then you'll rub your makeup off but yeah i love this i'm so happy that they sent me another one. Oh my god i'm so happy all right we have two more things in here let's see what they are we have a Bye Bye Lines Serum. This is an advanced anti-aging wrinkle smoothing miracle concentrate. Drops of light optical blurring technology. I am all about anti-aging now because I'm going to be entering my 30s and I need this skin to look good, honey. So I will definitely be adding this to my skincare routine. Ooh, I should do an updated skincare routine. It's going to help your skin feel more hydrated, firmer, and it's gonna give you radiant looking skin. And you can apply it on your face and neck. And then the last product I got, looks like it's a makeup product. This is the Bye Bye Pores Bronzer. And this is gonna give you a poreless finish airbrush bronze effect. See, I this is what I love about them. Like, it's not just a bronzer, but it's a poreless finish bronzer. And even the packaging is bronze. I like it, look at that. Very pretty. Is it a specific color? Okay, so this shade is called Beach. And oh, this mirror is like the perfect size. Oh my god, I need to touch up my makeup right now, actually. So this is their bronzer. I want I feel like it's new. I want to say that this is new because I haven't seen it. Next package is from Smashbox. <gasps> oh my gosh, you guys! How cool. They sent me the Smashbox and Nicole Concilio collab. Oh my gosh. First of all, congratulations, girl. How cute does she look in this box? Oh, this is too cute. Oh, congratulations, Nicole. How gorgeous. And look at these. Wow. Nicole Concilio collaborated with Smashbox to create three limited edition photo finish primer waters and the three scents are centering citrus so chill coconut and serene greens those names are so cute and they're like right up my alley so cute oh my god i'm so happy right now like i'm so grateful you guys have no idea all right so this one is the centering citrus let's see how this smells first of all i'm gonna spray it out Ooh, hold on girl it's not strong which i like because if it was like overpowering like some people don't like that it's a very 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 light citrus scent it's not overpowering at all honestly i keep spraying it because it feels so good on my skin because i'm a little warm right now and it feels really refreshing so the next one is serene greens let's see how this one smells spray it on this side 
Oh, it really does smell like greens, like if you're in a forest. Personally, I like that because I like nature. Oh my God, it's so nice. And again, it's not overpowering. I like this. Oh my God. It really does put you in a Zen mood. Oh. Ooh, the last one is the So Chill Coconut. I am, I think, the most excited for this one. You guys, <laughs> this one smells so good. I would say out of the three, you smell the coconut one the most. And I feel like it's my favorite. I like them all for different reasons, like for different moods. But I think I like the coconut one the most. Like if I can only pick one, I think I'd go with the coconut. One of the things that I really love to do on my channel is try different things. Like whether it's like different foods or um, different treatments, like spa treatments or like hair treatments or just go to new places. I love doing that and sharing it on my vlog so if you guys think of anything that you think that i should try and that you would want me to vlog let me know in the comments because i i'm trying to think of different things that i could try and vlog for you guys um because i absolutely love that and i feel like because i know i'm gonna vlog and it pushes me to go try something because otherwise i'm like oh yeah i'll try it later on or later on and then i'll never end up getting to it so i love that vlogging gives me the opportunity like pushes me really and gives me the opportunity to like go out and like try something that i normally wouldn't um so yeah if you guys can think of anything that you want me to go and try maybe it doesn't even have to be new jersey it could be like in different states i mean let's keep it a little local <laughs> but it can be like different places um let me know because i would love to look into it and try different things for you guys other than that i'm gonna end the vlog here thank you guys so much for joining me i love you and i'll see you guys in the next vlog bye